Hey everybody, it's Steve. And did you know that an AI powered device can control your DMX lights? Well, this Maestro DMX can create some amazing light shows using regular DMX LED fixtures. But what about lasers? Now lasers are a completely different kind of animal. And recently, I got this crazy Shed's three watt moving head laser. So in this video, I wanted to take a closer look at this laser's features and see how well the AI in this box does at making a laser light show. Oh, and using just one laser could be a little bit boring. So let's also throw in this shed six watt laser and see what happens. Now I've had several different kinds of lasers, but I've never had one where the laser is inside a moving head. And this can give you some pretty obvious advantages when you're putting on a laser show. This unit is compact, it's just 12 inches tall, about nine inches wide, and the three watt RGB lasers sit in here. There's basic menu control buttons and an LED readout where you can put it in either a 25 or 42 channel DMX mode, five different auto modes, five different sound active modes. Can I just say that three watts of laser power can do serious damage to your eyes like blindness, you need to make sure that no one, including yourself, is looking directly at it. So Maestro DMX creates its own network that you log on to with any connected device to configure and control it. So when you first connect, you're gonna be on the show page. We want to make sure that we've got the profiles for our lasers loaded into the Maestro DMX. And it comes with a lot of different fixture profiles, but the Consta laser isn't in the box, so we need to go to the Maestro fixture download page, and you can find the three watt Consta laser here. And then when we go to the fixture profile page, we're going to come up here and add profile, and it lets us just drag and drop the profile that we just downloaded. You can see that it's got all the 25 channels all ready to go in the standard mode. So we're gonna look at these channels one by one and optimize them. The first thing we, we wanna do is duplicate the mode and then we'll call this standard edit. And starting with pan, you can see that it's already selected as the, the channel type, but I wanna go in and edit this so there's less travel of the width because I don't want the laser going all over the place and uh, blinding people. And let's do the same thing on the tilt. Its default setting is 50, but let's narrow the width on that closer to 30. It already has fine pan and fine tilt selected. Pan and tilt speed, we're gonna leave at the static value of zero. The reset, we'll leave that at static value of zero. On the dimmer, we're gonna change the static value. Yeah, we have all these choices we can choose from. We're gonna change it to dimmer. And I wanna, on this, edit the channel you can change the output range. And I wanna move up the output range to somewhere around 150. It's to keep the laser going up into a brighter range. It just looks better that way. Now, the mode on the laser, it's in DMX mode. That's a static value of zero. So we're gonna leave that the way it is. For the pattern library, we're gonna leave that in static mode too but we're gonna edit it because there's four different libraries and the basic shape library is every value that's over 25. So we'll just put it at 27 and save it. That way it's gonna automatically default to that basic pattern library. And when we come to the library select, this is where you actually select the different patterns in the library. And I'm gonna think of this as actually more like selecting gobos. So let's change that to gobo, and we're gonna edit it. 
And in editing it, you have to add each step to your gobo. We're going to add a step. And I'm just going to name the first step A. It doesn't matter what we call it. And we'll make this a DMX range of 0 to 25. And then we're going to add a step. I'll just call this B creatively. And you can see it's automatically put the next range at 26 to 51. So we'll just keep adding steps from 0 to 255. OK, now that we've got that filled out, we'll save that. On strobe, it has a default setting of strobe, so we'll leave that the way it is. For pattern size, we'll leave that at a static value of 0. And we'll leave the x and y at static values of 0. Now, for color, we're going to pick something called activity which is somehow related to how the AI picks the various parameters. But on this, I want it to only pick the static colors, not the moving uh, cycles of colors. So I'm going to move this down to 130. And it'll just select a range from 0 to 130. Color change leaves static. Scan mode, static. So for the Z, X, and Y rotation, we don't want to have too much craziness go on. But let's pick just the X rotation. And we'll give that an attribute of activity. For zoom, because they give us an option to pick zoom as one of the attributes, we'll go ahead and assign that. We'll leave the draw effect and the twisted waves as static values. Now once we have all that set up, we're going to go in and we're going to create our stage. And here we're going to add the fixture that we just created. And here's the one that we did, the 3 watt moving head laser with the edit. We're going to save that. We have it assigned as our primary fixture group. And now when we go to show, we should be ready to see how this works. So as promised, to make this show a little more interesting, I'm going to add the Sheds 6 watt laser. The values have come up again in 10 channel mode most of them being static values. So we'll have to go in and tweak a few of those. Then we're going to go to the stage, and we're going to add the constellaser. And here's, here's the 6-watt constellaser. Now you can see it's automatically going to give it a starting address of 26 because the 3-watt laser is in 25-channel mode. So we save that. Now we have both of these lasers loaded in. We'll make the 6-watt laser secondary, which will give the AI more to work with. And now, when we go back to the show, we're ready to see how it looks with two lasers. This new 3-watt moving head laser from Sheds is a kick. And along with the Sheds 6-watt laser, you can have an amazing laser light show created with the AI in this Maestro DMX. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.
So channel one is the pan of the moving head. Channel two is fine pan. Channel three is tilt. Channel four is fine tilt. Channel five is the pan tilt speed. Channel six is a reset function. Channel seven is the dimmer. So let's bring that up. Channel eight gives you access to different modes like sound active and auto functions, but we're just gonna leave it in DMX mode. On channel nine, you can select the different pattern libraries. And let's go to the plain patterns. And then channel 10 is gonna let you select the different patterns within the different libraries. There's four different libraries and you can select the patterns within the library. is a strobing function. Channel 12, you can control the size. Channel 13 and 14 are supposed to be X and Y coordinates. I couldn't really figure out what those do. Channel 15, you can pick different colors. And in the higher values, you can cycle through different color combinations. On channel 16, it says it's color change. There's actually different combinations of colors that are static. On channel 17, you can affect the scan rate. Channel 18, the Z rotation. Channel 19, the X rotation. channel 20, the Y rotation, and in the higher values, it'll cycle through the rotation. 21 and 22 let you move the X axis, and in the higher values, it'll cycle. Channel 23 is a zoom function, and in the higher values, it auto zooms or cycles through a zooming effect. Channel 24 is a drawing effect. And channel 25 is a function called twisted waves that wiggles the pattern in different ways.